Hey, this is Nate's Outdoors 1230 with y'all with another video. It's about time I'm back here reviewing guns. I've been busy the past few months. ain't been able to put out videos like I wanted to. Um, I apologize for that. I'm going to try from now on to put out two videos a week. Um, and go over a few of these guns. And we're going to do some reloading videos coming up and trapping and... All that fun stuff. So here today, I have my favorite hunting rifle. Y'all know I'm a big fan of 30 alt 6 Well, this is it. Remington 700 ADL and 30 alt 6 Springfield. Uh, this was my first high-powered rifle I ever bought. I bought it in 2012. Paid around $500 for it. I have it equipped with a Burris Full Field E1. 3 by 9 by 50 uh, standard duplex reticle scope with Leopold rings. Alright, we're going to check the gun out. Let's safety check it. Safety always first. The gun is unloaded. Nothing in the uh, magazine. So this is your standard 700 action. Legendary for good reliability, good accuracy. And let me tell you, this gun is accurate. The only thing I've done to it is I did take the action screws out, pull the action off the stock, and take a Dremel tool and carve away at the stock to free float it. I have it free floated all the way back to the recoil lug. Um, we'll start at the back of the gun, move forward. It's got the Supercell recoil pad. Soaks up a lot of recoil. Not that Alt-6 has a lot of recoil, but it, without a good recoil pad, you can still feel it. Um, this is just a camo composite stock. It's got your standard sling swivel studs, front and rear. Um, it has a textured overmold pistol grip. So is the forend. It comes with the factory Xmark Pro trigger that uh, Remington's starting to put on all their rifles. The silver tab is what you press to take the bolt out. I'll do that for you. The bolt is a standard uh, two lug bolt, just your standard Remington bolt, nothing fancy, but it works. You have a uh, two position safety, safe and fire. It's got a uh, 24 inch barrel with a matte black finish on it. Looks pretty good. Years and years of wiping it down has a uh, gave it kind of a shine it ain't quite as textured and rough anymore um, like I said I, I bought this rifle 2012 and I paid right around 500 bucks for it before tax I think it was like 550 out the door um, this is a scope I picked up uh, I think it was three years ago like I said it is a burst full field E1 I got Butler Creek scope covers on it. Recommend those scope covers for any scope you buy. It's always easier to keep a scope clean than it is to get one clean. Um, this is a good clear optic for y'all that's looking for a good scope and don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, it can be had pretty cheap. They're right around $300. Although, if you don't mind the standard Plex reticle, uh, Burris has stopped making it, so Natchez Shooter Supply is selling these scopes for $159.99 on a closeout deal. And for that price, you might want to pick up a couple. Like I said, it's very clear optic. Um, these turrets on it has some nice tactile turrets. Nice grip on the cap itself. The uh adjustments are finger adjustable you can see it has the um number and hash marks to follow it does have a uh, zero stop so you can return the scope to zero and dial up or down uh, for elevation or windage so good nice positive click turns
and this this scope is matte black i got uh <clears throat> leopold high rings on it i love leopold rings and that's pretty much it for this rifle um it's just your basic remington 700 ain't much i've done to it other than free float the barrel put a good piece of glass on it um if y'all are looking for this scope I will leave uh, Natchez Shooter Supply. I'll leave the link in the description box below. You can go in, over to their site, check it out. Um, pick you up one. And Remington still makes these guns. I'm not sure if they still come in the camo synthetic stock version, but I know for a fact they still make the black synthetic. And they can be had for right around $400. Um, I'm not... I'm not one of those people that buy $1,500 fancy rifles and all that fun stuff. But, you know, I, I just, I like the basic stuff. And I can tell you, I would put this basic rifle up against anybody's $1,500 rifle any day of the week. Um, but remember, anytime you're buying a, a good gun, I would put a good, good piece of glass on it. I see it all the time. People buy $1,000 guns and put $50 scopes on it and just don't make sense to me get you a good piece of glass put you on a good rifle with some good mounts and there you have it and this gun I've killed many deer many groundhogs many turkeys with it you name it I've killed it with it 30 alt 6 Springfield Remington 700 ADL give it a try you won't be disappointed burst full field E1 3 by 9 by 50 Give it a try. You won't be disappointed. All right. I have some more videos coming up pretty soon. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get two videos out a week. And be sure to like this video. Don't give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe. If you subscribe, you won't miss out on nothing coming up. We have more gun reviews, some reloading videos, uh, trapping all that fun stuff coming up in the future so like i said please subscribe give it a thumbs up and y'all will be sure to catch what's coming on soon so y'all be safe and keep shooting have a nice day